Hi all. See this, this is a problem came say in the year 2019 GE main paper where we have to find out the Lipton or the required expression, right? <clears throat> where Z is given in a X plus I Y form. But only see that in this kind of problem, we'll face difficulties if we trying to expand that z to the power 5 and z to the power 8 using the normal expression like binomial theorem and all that stuff. Okay, so then it's very difficult. So here we'll use the technology, we use the method called de Moivre's theorem or the Euler's formula that approach. Okay, so first we have to rewrite this complex number z in a corresponding polar form. So do so. So here z is given as root 3 by 2 and hi, i half, right? So let's write down. So here we consider that z is equal to root 3 by 2 plus the complex number. Now we know that in a polar form, right, we need to calculate the mod of z. But here obviously the mod of z is 1, right? So we don't need to calculate that uh, in this particular problem because it is so easy. So you can see that mod of z in this particular problem is 1 because 3 by 4, 1 by 4. So that's why it's a um, complex number with unit modulus and therefore we need to find out the angle theta so that that we can rewrite it in cos theta plus i sin theta form. So therefore in this case my complex number z can easily be written as cos pi by 6 plus i sin pi by 6. So we are able to obtain that z. So let's uh, write down the ij because that's the first term we are looking for. Now if I multiply by i, obviously it is i cos pi by 6, this is i squared. So i squared will be minus 1. So therefore it can be written as minus sin pi by 6 plus i cos pi by 6. So that's my one complex number. So again at the end we have to write down all. So we just write down that one by one. So in this case ij is equal to minus sine pi by 6 plus i cos pi by 6. Now we have to calculate z to the power 5. So we from here we can easily calculate what is z to the power 5 by, by the method of de Moivre's theorem because as 5 is an integer so we can write z to the power 5 is directly equal to cos 5 pi by 6 plus i sin 5 pi by 6. Now what is 5 pi by 6? It's actually pi minus pi by 6. So therefore pi minus pi by 6 means that angle 5 pi by 6 is lies in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant sin is positive everything is negative. So therefore it will say that it is equal to minus cos pi by 6 plus i sin pi by 6. So that's my z to the power 5. Now obviously we just also note down that. So z to the power 5 is definitely equal to minus cos pi by 6 plus i sin pi by 6. So we calculate that. Now your next job is to calculate z to the power 8. So let's go ahead and calculate z to the power 8. So what is z to the power 8? That's definitely cos 8 pi by 6 plus i sin 8 pi by 6. Now see that as all the angles here in pi by 6. So I'm not changing that pi by 6. So therefore we rewrite re write that 8 pi by 6 as 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 6. You can see that that is actually gives you that pi by 6. So let's do that stuff. So here it is equal to cos 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 6 plus i sine same thing 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 6. Now this angle 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 6 is lies in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant obviously all sign tan. So tan is positive everything is negative. So all are negative. So therefore z to the power 8 became minus sine pi by 6 minus i cos pi by 6. So that's it. So you are able to calculate z to the power 8. But now here it is i into z to the power 8. So let's calculate that. So therefore i into z to the power 8 is definitely we just multiply. So i squared. So it will be cos pi by 6 minus i sine pi by 6. That's it. So that's 
completes all the calculation. You can see that if I multiply by i, it becomes i square. i square is minus 1. So therefore, it is cos pi by 6 minus definitely i sin pi by 6. So write down that as well. So i z to the power 8, it's definitely equal to cos pi by 6 minus i sin pi by 6. That's it. Now see that. In the required problem, we are need to add them together. So if we add all those things, I just forget about that one now. So Iz plus Z to the power 5 plus Iz to the power 8. You can see cos pi by 6, cos pi by 6 get cancelled. I sine pi by 6, I sine pi by 6 cancel. So it is minus sine pi by 6 plus i cos pi by 6. Now, here a 1 is there, right? So, let's add 1 both sides. So, 1 minus this is definitely half plus i uh, root 3 by 2, which imply this is 1 by 2 plus i root 3 by 2. So therefore, we already calculate that. Now, what's the angle for here? Pi by 2 and root 3 by 2. So therefore, we can <coughs> uh, see that it's equal to, so here it is cos pi by 3 plus i sine pi by 3. So that's it. So we calculate that our angle will be equal to uh, cos pi by 3 and i sine pi by 3. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and now find out that whole to the power 3, 9. So therefore, it became left hand side, which are going to require to find out. So left hand side in this case will be equal to uh, cos pi by 3 plus i sine pi by 3 whole to the power 9, which gives you that again d y words theorem. This is cos 3 pi plus i sine 3 pi. Now cos 3 pi is equal to minus 1 and sine 3 pi is 0. So therefore, in this case, this answer is minus 1. So therefore, for this problem, obviously, we can observe that the correct choice is minus 1. And that's it. So here we are again and again apply, apply the polar representation of a complex number and then De Moivre's theorem to obtain the desired result. Hope you understood the problem. Okay. And that's it.